MK Solid. Melanie, I remember when Anita Sarkeesian made a whole video because Catwoman had a great butt in Arkham <laughs> City. She is such a snake <laughs> through and through. Yeah, I remember that video. She was, yeah. Was she, she mad? She, she doesn't like uh, female characters being pretty. Like that's her, that's her <laughs> issue. She doesn't even play video games. She's a, just a hardcore feminist. This, and you know, a little over a decade ago, she just did a Kickstarter for a feminist frequency video series where she was going to dissect the problems with video games because she just saw it as an opportunity to make money. She got like $200,000 made videos. Then all of a sudden all these developers in the gaming industry start, started simping over what she was saying. And now we have a bunch of ugly female video game characters and games. So no one wants to play Who the fuck <laughs> donated to something called I know. feminist frequency? Who and then she bounced. This? She's never played video games in her life, but she, she just wanted to walk in, drop that bomb and leave. Oh. <laughs> like, who Let me see if I can pull something up. Like, you're the worst. Like, Watch me play Conan Exiles. All the girls that ever played with me, we make like this I know. bloodiest girl. <laughs> we always like that's the thing is if you play any MMO with a woman, we like to make our characters look pretty. They're either gonna we either want them to be cute or pretty or yeah, hot. You know? Like it's yeah, they gotta look good. <laughs> yeah. Well, because okay, I feel this like is frequency. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm this is, I'm just catching. No, no, no. I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm just like, I'm just catching up on this because I heard about this and now I'm like putting it she together. Finally shut it down. Thank She's goodness. Cool. For, the, for those of you who are not aware of this, a feminist frequency, uh, this was five days ago, shutting down. It's a nonprofit founded in 2009 by Anita Sarkeesian as an outlet for media criticism of video games. Okay. So this to me is part of the Frost G4 bullshit. Oh, it like, is. Yeah. And, and she's responsible for pioneering that. Like that's okay. what got it yeah. all plagued in the industry, and the gaming industry went downhill ever since. She's a cult leader. So yep. Frost really money. has a bone to pick with her. I yep. think Frost would be like, "Bitch, do you? <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Hate <you."> me." <laughs> uh, and okay, so so basically, it's like feminist criticism of uh, of video games, uh, expanded through the to include podcasts, gaming resources, and online harassment hotline. That's hilarious. Although the organization's industry resources will remain on its website, and definitely the hotline will close. I mean, what is, no one's going to be there to pick up my phone call? Like, I got I got <laughs> harassed in the waiting room of Minecraft. Help. Oh, my God. <laughs> is that even such a thing? Okay. Uh, the hotline will close in September, and the remainder of Feminist Frequency will wind down by the end of the year. I started this project <laughs> to fill a need that was missing in the media. Media criticism and video game space. Yikes! There was what no need. Not need. <laughs> Wait, did uh, she start Bully Hunter? Was that her too? Uh, I don't, I don't know what Bully Hunter is. They would like go on games. Isn't that what it was called? Maybe that's <gasps> what it was called. Oh, I know what you're talking oh, about, Leanne. They would, uh, so they would like, um, they would like actually submit people that were bullies. Uh, they would yeah. like go into like Call games. of Duty and find these guys oh, saying no. shit to, to help women oh, prevent and bullying. And try to get them banned. Yeah, it was oh, my the goodness. dumbest shit ever. Wow. Like, don't play games then. Are you serious? Don't ruin it for everyone, okay? Some people yeah. like it's part of being an adult. Is, is right, and that, it's also, yeah. when you're in a competitive environment, yeah. look at any type of sport. Like, yeah. smack talk is like, part oh, of the game. Shut the yeah. fuck up. Don't play. <laughs> Like, God, ruining everything, women. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what we do. Uh, <laughs> um, she wrote in a press release, this is like five days ago, over the past decade and a half, along with an invaluable team of staff members and industry partners, we've accomplished so much to be proud of of like what feminist frequency grew into something i could never have anticipated when it began all those years ago at this point and this is like these people were emboldened by the me too movement and they're like oh yeah. how can we monetize this yeah. this yeah. harassment culture this trend <laughs> grift of real this, this grift exactly. yeah this, this sexual harassment grift this making mm -hmm. something out of nothing and how can we create a business and uh, it hurts women that's what's yeah. so frustrating yeah. about it because then when some so when a woman actually has something valid that she's trying to bring to attention people can't right. take her serious anymore because of everybody who exploited this mm -hmm. yeah and then we had amber heard and we're like well <laughs> now we're in a, a backlash yep. situation where it's like believe all women no we don't believe anyone now no. because yeah, you fucked it up you whores right. Um, <laughs> advantage. 
at this point, I think it's important to share that exhaustion and burnout, blah, blah, blah. Not uncommon. Yeah, she's what? burnt out from pretending online. to be a gamer. Like, that's not uncommon <laughs> in the nonprofit world. Uh, so, like, does that ne necessarily mean, like, not that they were not making a profit, but, like, they get some sort of tax exemption? I'm not Right. They were familiar. definitely, she was definitely making money and she wasn't even paying her employees that well. And, yeah, she what pocketed it. Mm. Shocking. Yeah, I, I saw Mark. Uh, shout out to Mark. Uh, he she had people donate about sixty k to start a Discord or something like that. Oh yeah, apparently she did that too. She needed a second round of funding, and apparently it cost sixty thousand dollars to start a Discord server. <laughs> I did it for free. I'm what? For free? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> That's insane. The organization added that Jalen, the director of Confidential um, Confidential Emotional Support Hotline, uh, <laughs> will continue to run Respect, the hotline's accountability support space. You got to be kidding. This sounds like an Onion article. Yeah. Uh, in addition, <laughs> a private event at next year's Game Developers Conference will honor feminist frequencies accomplishments through the years. Yeah, okay. No, don't. Uh, she founded it while that? studying princess for her... her Master's degree at York University in Toronto. Fucking Canadians. Ew. Canadians ruin everything. I'm sorry, sorry for people like Anita Sarkeesian. <laughs> you're like, you're like, I do not claim her. In 2010, uh. <laughs> she began producing Tropes vs. Women, a series of videos examining misogynistic storytelling trends in movies and television. This help? Who does this help? This do you know what I mean? No Who the fuck does anybody. this help? Exactly. No. Critique meaningless like, without its own creation do you know what i mean like okay it's like you complain you complain you complain at a certain point you have to start making your own art right. otherwise exactly yep. you should have made a video game with yes. princess peach looking like this or zelda or i'm assuming that's and no one would have bought it nobody no actual female gamer asked for this and no. if you look at no. just like halloween time when girls are Dressing up as video oh, game characters. Bloody characters We're picking of everything. The classic mm -hmm. Lara Croft. Nobody's dressing as this new Lara Croft. Same with yep. the Mortal Kombat girls. They're they're picking the the very over the top, extraordinarily larger than life, beautiful because that's part of the 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 fantasy of it is becoming a character who is is that amazing and that extraordinary and that beautiful. So yeah. they completely mm -hmm. missed the point. Wow. Yeah, and and I it's like in the, either in the prior Oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah. I, I clicked on what you sent. And one, yeah. one was one like, um, okay, one was the feminist frequency logo. Did you want me to yeah, pull yeah, that the, up? Yeah, okay. the irony of it, because she wants to complain about how video game characters look and how they're too idealistic. And then for her feminist frequency radio logo, all of the all of them look prettier than they do in real life. So. <gasps> oh, because they're cards. Oh, that's funny. Oh, it's just the funny. irony of it all. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, God, especially this one. Yeah, they, they forgot to draw it better. Apple <laughs> so. on the block. is nicer. <laughs> yeah. Wow. yeah. Most of the time, though, they're always hypocrites. And they, they are. don't believe it, anything it just, they actually say. It was a I think they're just money. jealous of yeah. Yeah. the haters. Wow. And again, create your feminist content. Do it. And right. then if, if the market decides that that's something people want, great. I hope you make a lot of money from it. But again, like, and I think and either support somebody who's creating art or you yourself take steps to create the art that you want to see in the world. Like cr criticism is great. Critique is great. But like mm -hmm. at a certain point, you just need to like be the change. Yeah. As the great yeah. Gandhi once said. Um, yeah, it's like all the people on Twitter that make fun of others' looks, but then they have like an anime profile picture. Like, you don't count. Okay. You better show yourself. <laughs> yes, first. Exactly. Like, fuck that. It's like, like who are you? Game, if What's you're going to do that. <laughs> um, okay. So she, da, 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 she had this. Okay, the Tropes vs. Women was uh, the series of videos examining the misogynistic storytelling trends in movies and television in 2012, a Kickstarter campaign to fund a video game series. Hold on, you need a Kickstarter yep, to fund a video game series? Yep. What? And people and call made, like, us rippers? 
Wow. And did it ever so come to amazing. fruition? The actual. I don't even thing? think she completed it. She it took her what? an eternity just to make them. People thought it just wasn't going to happen. They were like, she took our money and left. But eventually, she did make some very low effort videos and mm. called she it a did. day. Mm, that's yeah, unfortunate. Wow. It, it comes to this YouTube channel. Tropes vs. Women in Video Games Season 1. I mean, like, a lot of views. Oh, this is from 2017. How many did she right. do? Oh, the only 11. Videos she did 11. Really she, yeah, did 11. she did 11. She did 11 videos. Yeah. <laughs> 11? They paid wow. for Girl, you didn't need a... So apparently need a she, she promised for this. 20 episodes, I think. and She didn't and even she, finish. Yeah, wow. she didn't even finish it. <laughs> but honestly, any of us could have made these videos mm -hmm. for free mm -hmm. like yeah. you right. don't need no. like uh what the fuck was the money for did she pull yeah. a blm Our pocket <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> like what yeah i wonder what the money was for um okay the she made the video series it raised the organization's profile dramatically for better and worse the campaign shattered sarkeesian Four. His six grand fundraising goal in less than a day. And while the video series boldly confronted the growing industry's casual objectification and minimalization of female characters and real world abuse towards female abuse, you're telling me words are abuse. That's what, what I mean, the male gamers probably get it the worst, to be honest. So they do. They're always abuse. worse with each other. Yeah. Right. It's it's part of the culture. Just like if you were to be in a green room at a comedy club, like there's there's riffing everyone's roasting each other they're you're busting balls like it's just there's a culture of each sort of niche and you kind of roll with it or you make a stink and you become a problem <laughs> that's like one of the fun parts though they like ruin like call of duty and shit like the chat yeah it sucks yeah uh i hate to say that like uh, women came in and ruined it uh, they did, not though. all women no, no those right. types of women well, right. that's what's unfortunate is because there are so many cool female gamers who can hang if you really look right. at before this happened there was a clan called pms clan it was amazing <laughs> i was in it for a bit um it was a bunch of girls that were more like that tomboy type in attitude whether they looked like it or not but in attitude where it was like hey we're in this male dominated hobby. We got to hang. We're not here to take over. We're here to hang with them. We don't want them using the kid gloves with us. We want to be able to hang. And that was cool times. Th this isn't yeah. just like a relationship. You want to um, enhance a relationship, not change a person. You yes. know, like right. you shouldn't seek out people like that. Why are you going into the space and trying to change it when it functions the way it is already? Mm -hmm. And well, yeah. right. Whereas most people in that space are have agreed to these rules and are fine with this dynamic and participate and enjoy what goes on. But it's like, mm -hmm. it's like hecklers in a comedy club. You're the one that doesn't fit in. You're the one that can't hang. You need to like yell out and, and make it a problem for everybody else. Uh, just because yeah. you're like, I disagree. Uh, I don't believe. <laughs> uh, I think Dylan Mulvaney is a woman. And it's like, okay, you've just now made your opinion more important than everybody else in the room who is having a good time. And you can, draw a parallel with gaming that's why i've now, always like felt a connection and now she's gone she's not even a gamer anymore because if mm -mm. she was actually still a gamer sure why not we'll make well, your opinion she, somewhat valid there was, was video of her even around that time saying hey i'm not a gamer i don't play video games but i found this was something i needed to talk about <laughs> And she just to destroy an opportunity anything to make that men money. enjoy that's yep. the goal yep. you know, like yeah. we have to destroy it mm -hmm. yeah it's so obnoxious. Like, I can understand why some guys are like, I hate women. But it's like, again, it's just some women ruining it for yeah, yeah, they're the ones that right. enjoy it. They're, they're, yeah. We hate those women, too. Okay? They're feeding into this culture war now. And now you have guys who hate all women as a result. Some, obviously not all. But it's just the yeah. same as, you know, feminism that is is hating on all men. And then you have another extreme of men hating on all women and it's right it's getting ridiculous it's, it's very gay quite honestly to, to mm -hmm. hate the opposite gender that much <laughs> it is gay yes. it is gay. Yeah. the divide is getting it's it's getting wider. bad yeah. yeah let me see if there's anything else interesting in this article um okay yes uh industries objectification for women um triggered a, a triggered a back 
backlash from the darkest segment of, of society that her work singled out, helping to spawn the harassment campaign known as Gamer, Gamergate, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. Uh, Sarkeesian became a favorite target of abuse. God, abuse. It's like this overuse of the word abuse. Uh, on and off. In 2014, someone sent a bomb threat because she was a scheduled speaker at the game developer's choice. Okay, but that's like, <laughs> that's not, that's not being, I don't know. I mean, that sucks, but as someone who's been like swatted twice, like I wouldn't consider that a an attack. Like I feel like celebrities get that all the they time. They just say it's a yeah. They do. So they can the be like, same oh my year, God, I'm being abused. She was forced to cancel a speech at a college based on loose security. Uh, students said a threatening email. I mean, again, <laughs> a, lot of cons- a lot of conservatives, a lot of people who don't have uh, woke beliefs get this sort of treatment when they try mm-hmm. to, when Ann Coulter or, mm-hmm. you know, tries to speak at a college. I mean, so many uh well-known people ha- run into these problems so it's like I don't, i'm not saying like suck it up but you want to be a public figure this is what comes with it people are gonna disagree right. with you yeah. harassment is the background radiation of my life again playing a victim it's a factor in every decision i make anytime i tweet something or make a post i'm always thinking about it when i post oh, our shit. videos it's a consideration it affects where i go and how i behave and how i feel walking down the street every day <laughs> Do you think is she, oh, yeah, she's, she's walking down the street? You think an attacker is gonna come up to her and like try to grab her <laughs> purse? She's gonna they're gonna try to grab her purse and she's gonna be like, is this because of my video? Uh, you know, <laughs> that's what I hate about this and like the She Hulk show and stuff because isolated incidents do happen, but to act like this is an every single day occurrence for every woman Absolutely is retarded. Not.